Hello, Year 8 Science. Uh, that's week 6, term 2. We're starting a new topic now called Service Structure and Function. Okay, Breakdown of these, um, this new unit. Uh, uh, the unit will be 5 weeks long. You have 2 uh, practical sessions a week. Yes, true. No homework, as I said before, um, but all the work is due on the very same day. There might be some exceptions uh, if we develop a project, but uh, you'll be informed on that. So, two assessments in class per week, 10% each, five weeks equals to 100% of this, of this unit, okay? So, in this first lesson, we have to talk about something that we'll be using a lot, which is uh, microscopes, okay? So, what we use there, it's uh, the light microscope, light mi microscopes. Um, most schools they use what we call a, uh, what we call a compound uh, light microscope okay and it's a very um, it's cheap okay and the magnification it's usually the four, uh, uh, 40 times 100 times and 400 times so there are different types of magnifications in there uh, it's it's an okay microscope to start analyzing some cell structures like the this example here which is the onion cell okay so if you to get an onion the one you eat with your burger or your salad and you get a little bit of the skin put that under the microscope and you'll be able to see, uh, to see the cells those are onion cells okay there are other types of microscopes as well this is looks like a bazooka or a cannon but it's not this is called a uh, electron microscope one that I I use it myself it's amazing, okay? I used it myself during my uh, research uh, at Federation University of Australia. And, it, and this machine can give you 10 million times magnification, okay? So it can, it can see an image with 10 million times. So if you compare that with the light microscope, you use maximum sometimes a thousand, okay? good expensive uh, light microscope a thousand times an uh, average uh, uh, electron microscope 10 million times and that's what you basically see with an electron microscope that's a uh, red that's a blood cell in there a human blood cell in there so you basically can see individual cells how they actually are okay that's an insect that um, I don't know the name of it, but it can be a fly or maybe not a fly. Uh, maybe I don't know what it is, but have a look at the eyes, the detail, and the detail, the plates are covering the insect. It's it's exquisite. It's really nice. Okay, and that's a diatom. Um, please pay attention to the scale on the uh, um, on the right um, right hand side, just below there. It's 30 microns, so that line is 30 microns, so it's really, really small, okay? And the level of details you can get with an electron microscope, it, uh, they are amazing, okay? Okay, microscopes, do's and don'ts. So, the guidelines, you have to carry the microscope with two hands, uh, clean the lens. The lens, it's the most expensive part of uh, a microscope, okay? So if you break it, you basically, it's, uh, you got to throw in the bin uh, or buy new lenses. Do not force the knobs, okay? Be careful and always store it covered. So the way you receive the microscope, you will hand it back. Failure to follow uh, the steps equals to your removal from practice sessions, okay? So if you cannot look after the equipment, you shouldn't be using it. Uh, the next is, uh, there's more bits of a microscope. There are plenty of things in there. You have the body tube at the very top eyepiece. Um, the arm stage stage is very important because that's where you put you uh, place your species specimens. Um, two very important bits: the coarse focus and the fine focus. Okay, you will have the opportunity to play with that in class. Uh, the light, where the light comes from, and the lenses. Okay, so the most important bits: the objective lens, the eyepiece, coarse and fine focus. Okay, those are the ones you need to know what they are. Okay, magnification is something that people get extremely confusing, confused. Okay, um, 
I'll have uh, I'll have um, I'll give you the opportunity to have a look at this with a great level of detail, uh, so you can understand when I say, look, it's time to use uh, high uh, 100 percent total magnification, 100 sorry 100 times total magnification. So I, you know when I say 100 times total magnification or 10 times magnification that we're talking about low power. Okay. If I ask you to use the 40 times magnification, you know that I'm, we're talking about high power. Okay, so we'll have the opportunity to discuss this with greater detail in class when you, when you handle the microscopes. Uh, and um, you'll be able to learn by using it uh, how the lenses work. Okay, so that's uh, this short video, something that I expect you to, um, to watch if you if you have a, a doubts about this video, watch it a second time. Otherwise, you ask me, send me questions by Edmodo or Compass, and we'll uh, we'll do as as many um, experiments in class as we can. Okay, take care.